Hey there everyone, it's Waza here from AM Ninjas and today we're going to be looking at how you can spruce up your existing content or moving forward with your new content, how you can make it look better and more appealing and just give it a bit of bit more life and it's a lot easier than you think. So we're going to be using a plugin called Shortcodes Ultimate and it's a free plugin for WordPress and it's very easy to use and I love it. It's helped me create better web pages and makes things look a lot better. Now a lot of people like using uh, page builders and things like that. Um, Shortcodes Ultimate is a lot, lot, lot more lightweight and it's really easy to use as well. So I'm just going to go into my back end of my website and I'll just show you how you can get this. And I highly recommend also going to short, uh, getshortcodes.com, uh, this website here, and it gives you the documentation and it shows you examples and stuff like that, which I'll be walking you through as well. So just really quickly, uh, I'm in the back end of my WordPress website. Hopefully you've already got your WordPress sites installed. I've actually got some plugins that need in, uh, updating and I highly recommend keeping your plugins up to date. So I'm just going to go down here. Uh, we've got this one here. Uh, to update your plugins, all you have to do is simply go update plugin and it literally takes a couple of seconds and it's updated. Now just make sure there's no other ones. All right, so to install Shortcodes Ultimate, all you have to do is go to Add New in the Plugins tab. So your Plugins tab over here, Add New, and then in the Plugins tab, simply type in Shortcodes Ultimate. And it should pop up as the first one, and this is what it looks like here. Now I've already got it installed, but all you would do is click on the Install Now button, and then activate it. So I've already got it installed, and we're going to take have we're going to have a look. Um, one of my pages here, uh, you might notice I've got like a box with some text with a bit of like a off yellowy color background. Uh, we're going to create that. We've got some boxes here with white background and we've got some uh, thumbs up and thumbs down as a list icon. Uh, what else have we got? And we've got this image down here as well. We can use ultimate shortcodes, uh, shortcodes ultimate for that as well. But first let's have a real quick look at the documentation for it. Now if you go to get to this page you simply go to shortcodes and down the bottom here we've got examples of all the shortcodes. There's quite a few and it's really cool. So we've got things like accordion, posts, so this will display, I'm not sure if I've got anyone here, no I don't. I do have some on some of my pages where I just put a shortcode there and it will display my latest posts or the posts that I choose. So say if you've got a blog post about web hosting for example and you've got other blog posts about hosting and how to set up your hosting all that sort of stuff, you can have that underneath in as uh, related posts. Uh, what else have we got really quickly? We've got sliders, we've got tabs, light box, we can add buttons, and the buttons, I've got one down here. This is a, a short code for a button to get my cheat sheet. Uh, we've got columns, so we can have two, two columns. We've got a spoiler title, carousel, we've got icons, we've got a box, uh, photo panel, ta uh, table, so you can make tables in this, it's really easy. Um, a menu, post data, you can add YouTube, user data, we've got content slider, uh, there's so many different ones, but you can go through this and just have a look. Uh, it, if you click on them, like say for example the columns, it'll show you an example. So we've got three columns here, well two columns, for the uh, two cats, and then three columns for the content here. And this is what the short codes look like. All right, so you can do this same thing here like this. And it gives you all the details for that short code. Same is if we go back here and I think it's the note. So the note is for this box here. This is a note. And you can have a look. See how nice and neat it looks. You can change the colors. You can add um, HTML color codes or hex codes, whatever you want to call them. And it gives you the, the short code for that as well. So what I'm going to do really quickly, I'm just going to do a post as an example, just a draft and show you how to do it. 
All right, so I'm just going to name this as a demo. Now, my editor might look different to yours because if you're new to WordPress, there's a good chance you might have Gutenberg installed. I've actually got the old editor still installed. It's the classic editor, actually. And to get that, I might just go and show you how to use to get that. Just go to Plugins, Add New. Try and make this as quick as I can. And here, just type in Classic Editor. And you should get this one here. And you can just install that and uh, activate it. And then it will look like the old WordPress, which I love and I don't want to let go of. So let's just, uh, I'm just going to use some of my content here. So I'm just going to use this here as an example and just show you how to add, whoops, add some um, short codes. All right, so I've pasted that in. Now, for example, I'm just going to quickly look at that as a preview. It's not very attractive looking at all. It's just some text. Just ignore this here. This is actually a short code in a hook because I use um, Generate Press as my theme and I can add hooks so I can put stuff wherever I want them. Now, for this, I'm going to use a note. So to do so, I'm simply going to click all that text there. And I can go, oh, actually, I better not do that. I can, you're better off just putting your text there. This is how I use it. There, there is probably better ways to do it, but this is what I found is easier. Click on this button here, which is the insert short, short code. And I'm going to add a note. So it's going to have that box around it. Now here you can change the colors. So if I want to have like that yellow color, Maybe I won't go like a soft yellowy, creamy yellow color. You can change the text color. So if I wanted that a blue text or an orange text, I could. I'm just going to leave it as black. Now you can have a radius around the box so it's not a perfect square. So these ones here, they're, they're fairly square. They don't seem to have um, a bit of a radius on them. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So let's make a really strong one. And normally you could just put your content in here. So I could have copied all that and then paste it in here and I'll just do a demo. So if I type something there, I can have a live preview. See how it's done that? See how it's got the, the round edges there? Now if I take that down to say eight, it'll give me a live preview again. If I take it down further, it'll be a square box. So for this example, I'm just going to delete that. And this is how I use it, because a lot of the time I'll write my content out and then I'll go back and add these short codes. Uh, so it doesn't make sense to sort of add the content within here for me. Okay, all right, so here we have our short code. Now this here, this part here, is the opening of that short code. And this part in these brackets is the closing. Now we want to grab that, whatever, is, whatever we want inside that short code, we simply cut that closing bracket out and paste it behind it. So I can do this, I might just take that bolding out. Um, and I like grab to sort of thing there, like a bit of spacing. Now I can just preview that and we can have a look what it's going to look like. See, now we've got a nice, neat box that is styled to whatever design you like. All right, so some other um, short codes that I like to use is the button. So let's just create a button really quickly. And this is what this this is all your short codes here. You can sort it by the different tabs to make it easier to find stuff. But this here is your button. Now what you want to do, this will be your link. So the, the link that the button is going to go to. So I'm just going to leave that as is because it's a ClickFunnels free trial. And if you're interested in that, simply go to amninjas.com slash ClickFunnels dash trial. Um, but that's not what this is about. We can have a flat button. You can open it and close, uh, open it in a new tab or the same window. Flat, ghost, soft, glass, bubble, noise, stroke, 3D. Now have a play around with these because some of them are pretty cool. 
I personally like the flat button. We can change the color of that button. So it might do a nice green. We can have a different, we can change the, the size. Let's just leave it at 12 there. We can have it as fluid so it will stretch with the page. So if, it, um, if it's on mobile, it will stretch and shrink um, or be 100% width. We can have it centered. So you can just click yes or no, yes or no. And the radius, same sort of thing as our box before. Uh, I might just have a five pixel radius. Now this is really cool because you can pick icons. So this is like what's before the text. So we can have an arrow pointing at our text or a tick or um, like a, any type of icon that you like. I'm just gonna have, the, uh, let's try this one here. You can have a small description and give some JavaScript to it. I don't normally worry about that. Um, you can give it a button ID. So I'm just going to have my text as get your 14 day ClickFunnels trial. And we can preview that. And as you can see, it's created a button. Now all I have to do is insert button and that button will now be there. If we preview it, there's our button and that will go to our link. Simple. Now you can do other stuff as well. Like I said, this is just how you can um, make your blog posts look better and you know make them look a bit more stylish instead of having the plain old you know default format. But you can add YouTube videos, videos from other platforms like Vimeo or wherever. Uh, I've actually got a uh, URL from one that I've uploaded to my site. So let's just have a quick preview of that. Actually, that video may not be on there anymore because I may have deleted it. Um, but yeah, you can preview it. You can add your own video there and play around with that as well. Uh, we've got, so for that, uh, the posts one, we've got, where is it? Here we go, posts. I can add posts and then I can assign what type of posts that I want. You can do different um, templates here. So have a read of this, and this is just different templates you can use. So I might use this um, like a list, but I'll do a couple of them. Uh, I'll leave these default settings as is. You can play around with these and, and just test stuff and just save it as a draft until you get uh, until you get familiar with it and then you know, publish your post. So I'm gonna have a quick look at that. So as you can see, it's pulled out my latest post. It might look a bit funny because it's squished in here like this, but we can go up here and I can paste that template here. So it's gonna be a list. So if I go down and hit, oh, for some reason it has not worked. If I try a different, try the teaser one really quick. Now I'm not gonna make this too much longer because you just can play around with it and have a look. I highly recommend taking a look. I might, for some reason that's not working, it normally does. I'll probably have to play around with this with some settings. But you get the picture. I might just leave that default one there. And we will use that. I'll insert that there and we'll preview that. Uh, for some reason it's not working. What have I done? Oh. I could have a list. You can create tables, you can do sliders, um, the box, that's, some people ask how I do the box. So the box will have like a, a, a title. Uh, so let's just say how to create a box. All right, so I can change the color. I might do a blue one. You can change the what it looks like so it can have different styles. I might just have the soft one. Uh, text color white. You can change the radius again, so I might change that to eight. And I might, um, I might just grab some more content. And then in here we just simply paste. You can have a look at that. And as you can see, we've got a nice box with a colored header. So let's preview that. Pasted that because I had my uh, cursor thing here. 
it's pasted it there. So what I will do is create a new box, sorry. Uh, like so, my old one should be still in there. So I can just insert that and I can preview it. And underneath that, we've got our box. Now, as you can imagine, this is gonna help style your pages, but before I go, I'll show you another one. Uh, just really quickly, this is another one I use a lot, and that is columns. So I'm gonna have two common uh, columns, uh, both the same width. Uh, in here, this is where you put your content. So I'm just gonna paste that same content that I copied before in each one, and I will show you what that looks like really quick. And you can also change the background of those columns. See how we've got a column here and a column there. We can add notes to those columns. We can add lists, which is another one I'll quickly show you before I go. Um, so say we have a list, uh, list one, list two, list three. Okay. So what you can then do is add a short code for lists. So if we go over here and select list, we can have an icon for that list. So I might have like a check mark and have that as a green check mark. I can have the indent so it sort of goes further into the page, but I might leave that. I might do like a 10 or not, I'll do a 10. And I'll leave the content here empty. It should have some code there for you guys because I've used this before, it's not there. And like I said before, this is our opening tag and this is our closing short code with the brackets. And if I put that there like that, that should now look like a really a nice list with some ticks. And see how it's styled that there? Normally they'd be black bullet points. And you can change the icons and play around with it. Just have a muck around like I just did then, create a draft and just save it as a draft and play around with it until you familiarize yourself with it. So that's how you style your pages with Shortcodes Ultimate. Go to getshortcodes.com to find out all the documentation and how to use it. There's probably even videos on the exact same thing I just showed you, maybe more in depth. But I thought I'd share that with you and give you some tips on how to use it. Thanks for watching. My name is Waza from amninjas.com and you have a great day.